Okay, now we have started streaming, or at least me. Maybe you haven't, but me, I have started. So now we will wait a little bit for the stream to start in YouTube and we are just live. Okay, we are live now. We have to start quickly because this is, um, hmm, hmm, you know? All right. Uh, it will be a whole figure again against Superman, I know, but I just like the concept. And by the way, this is from a um, kind of underrated artist. You, I will show you a little bit later his Instagram. He doesn't have our station, which was curious for me. It was interesting that it doesn't have our station, but he has Instagram. He has Deviant Art, so we will see him. And I will also show you if I don't forget. But I will not forget probably. To show you a guy who contacted me in Instagram, he has over 30, no, over 300,000, 300,000, read my lips, 300,000 followers in Instagram. And he told me that he liked my videos and he wanted to do a collaboration. So in his stream, he will draw something. We'll see what tomorrow. And then I will make it in my stream the day after that. So it will be pretty much fun. We'll see how it will go. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah, cool things are going on. DeviantArt. Yeah, DeviantArt is kind of an old thing. I had a DeviantArt too. I still have, but I haven't updated it too much. But it was a thing back in the days when we were young. Maybe around... 10 to 15 years ago, <laughs> it was cool. DeviantArt nowadays, not so much. Nowadays, our station is the man. The others are just uh, kind of, you know, I don't know how people are still using DeviantArt, not our station, but maybe some people are just, you know, old, sh old fashioned, which is cool. But uh, it's true that there are Pretty nice artists that don't have Instagram. Still. It's kind of awkward. But it's true. I saw that these days. When I was researching for some interesting concepts to do. In Pinterest mostly. Many people asking me. Oh Nico, what kind of uh, you know concepts? Where do you find your concepts? And how do you do that? Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you can find them everywhere. In our station, in Pinterest, whatever you want. However you want. Or whatever you want. It doesn't matter that much. You know, skill matters. Concepts, yeah, they matter. If you find a nice concept, it will be better. But still, skill is more important. Hello, by the way, guys. Guys, let me show you something that I did. So, if somebody wants to ask a question, <clears throat> uh, you can read the, the answer here. I will just leave this for a minute or so, and you will be able to see what happens. Yeah, the, uh, this is the frequently asked questions section of the video. You can check it out. It's amazing, as you can see. Yeah. Hello from Sternoclidomastate. Yeah, Sternoclidomastate muscle is the best, as we always know. This is the best muscle in the human body ever. Maybe, maybe uh, a few thousand years ago, a few million years ago, there was another muscle with another name that the Neanderthals are calling something else much cooler than uh, Sternoclidomastate, but I doubt. I doubt that this is the case. I'm almost sure that the sternocleidomastoid is the coolest muscle. Uh, but who knows? The opinions, you know. Some people can say that the biceps, <laughs> the biceps <laughs> is the coolest muscle. But the biceps is so simple, you know, biceps. Everybody knows biceps. What is the cool of that? I mean, it's not cool to know the biceps, but to know sternocleidomastoid, what's happening here? Huh? <laughs> Who's the man? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, the head is starting to get okay. Let's do this a little bit. So the eyes, let's make some eyes, but very, very, very slyly. But Nico, you're fast and furious on the Ferrari as you sculpt in Blender. No, I don't have a Ferrari. 
fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know, but probably fortunately because the Ferraris I hear are pretty expensive to maintain. So if you have a Ferrari, you have to have a big, big, big income. And my income is not as big for the Ferrari. Maybe for Mercedes, yeah, kind of. But for Ferrari, no, no, not so much. And you ask, but Nico, is your income big enough for Mercedes? Uh, for an old one, I drive a 12-year-old Mercedes. So it's not exactly the newest one, but I like it very much. It's uh, my favorite Mercedes, maybe. Ah, and if many people are interested, I will include it in the uh, in the frequently asked questions section. What kind of car I drive? Oh <laughs> yes, it will be. Ah, uh, but probably it's not exactly needed. Okay, we have kind of the face. Let's go and make a little bit of hair. It will be fast. So for six minutes we have some face. Okay, today I watched a little bit of a stream of Shane Olson. Shane Olson is the guy who streams, many people uh, know him, he streams in ZBrush. And he makes similar things, like for two hours he makes a character, mostly a bust, bust of a character, because he's working a little bit more slow, and also he's using uh, pr primitives. I'm working more like uh, a sculptor, although I'm not exactly a sculptor, but... I'm working more like a sculptor, he's working more like a 3D artist. <laughs> so, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm working not like a 3D artist. Uh, probably, no. Привет из России! Наконец ты попал на стрим! Hi, from Russia, finally I'm going to stream live. Ah, you, you translated it, which is great. I will translate it too, but... Uh, yeah. No, it's, it's good to write in... In English, I always say, but if you want, of course, to write in other language, is okay. But know that that I don't know Portuguese. I know very little Spanish, and very very little Turkish. So little that uh, I cannot read anything almost in Turkish. I know a lot of Russian, but I cannot speak it quite much. And Bulgarian, I know, but you know. Since we are here in the stream, uh, a lot of people from around the world, with a lot of languages, it's good to speak uh, one common language, which is, of course, the English language. Hope you understand. Otherwise, you will be banned. You, do you want to see the dark side of Nico, you know? It was Halloween yesterday, so the dark side of Nico is here. I'm joking, of course. I will not ban anyone. Uh, from using their own language, if they want mm, to not be understood by most people, which is kind of okay, but uh, I don't know. Hey Nico, are all Bulgarians cool like you, or are you exception? <laughs> Cannot say. I mean, uh, in, in Bulgaria, like in all other countries, there are people and people. There are very good people, very nice, very hospitable people. There are bad people who wants to rob you, or, you know do something bad, because life uh, has treated them, I mean, unfair, we may say, or they may say, uh, and stuff like this. I mean, in every country, there are people and people. So we cannot say quite much. But most Bulgarians are not able to do what I do. First, the, char the character artists that I know, that are good enough, they cannot quite much speak so uh, for so long and uh, say so many stupid things at once which is uh, a talent obviously yeah a big talent uh, although they are good character artists they cannot do exactly what I do which is great because I don't have a competition here in Bulgaria at least so that's that's that that's uh, absolutely fine for me for them I don't know but, you know, they don't care. They are doing their work, they are making money, they are, uh, you know, having fun, which is the most important thing. When you are a character artist, I think the nicest thing is that you have fun, always. You work, you make money, but you have fun. 
and that's great. I had fun once when I was young. Now, of course, I have fun while sculpting, but uh, also while streaming, which is also great, you know. Streaming is fun. <clears throat> well, uh, Nico, what do you think about our generation with AI? Now the AI is uh, getting very good. And I may say I am a little bit concerned, but not too much, because probably we can use it as a tool. We can use it as a tool. Uh, to generate some things and then to for us to kind of make them better but we'll see we'll see maybe one day ai will make our work completely worthless but we'll see hopefully this day will not come that soon although i'm not super optimistic but we'll see hi nico why are you don't use zbrush anymore thank you for this question Russian car for sure. Yeah, Russian, of course. How many blue t-shirts do you have? Of course. Today I got my parents to agree to buy me Quadra Mesh. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a great day for you, my friend. Buying Quadra Mesh is a big step in your development as an artist. So yeah, good for you. When I was young, my parents will never buy me Quadra Mesh, you know. They will say, but <laughs> Quadra Mesh, what is this? What, what do you want to buy? Are you crazy? Go to your room and uh, never get out. Or something like this. Yeah, it was a it was a harsh time back in the days, you know. Sometimes they they brought you to your room, so you, so you never got out, you know. And you always stay in your room. And I'm still in my room, so yeah, I never got out. Ah, it's so so sad. But yeah, let's see the body. Okay. Did you work only as a sculptor at game studio or did you have to do other stuff like retopology? Of course, we have to do retopology in the game industry. But if you are the best sculptor there is, for example, if you are, maybe they will find somebody to do your retopology. But most of the time, uh, you have to do it yourself. It's completely okay. But retopology is kind of easy. I mean, it, uh, it's practice and practice and you will get it it's not a problem the problem is anatomy i would say and the character design overall and working from concept these things are harder and they take more time to learn that's why i am teaching mostly those things i'm not teaching that much retopology although i did some of retopology in my courses but not too much because for me it's not that important Many people say, but why don't you do a full character with retopology and everything? I did. And it's in my other YouTube channel absolutely for free. So many people can go and, or anybody can go and watch it there. But Nico, what else? Nico, I'm really sorry about the question, but can you explain a bit what Maxson told you about ZBrush? You fast because you don't use all the features, use whatever you want to make your art. Uh, this is a joke, man. This is a completely joke. I'm not. Uh, I have b never contacted with uh, Maxon. Uh, you know, it was a joke just to just to be funny. I'm trying to be funny. That's that's it. That's a big joke. So yeah, I'm uh, wasting away their product, you know, by being so fast. They say, oh, too fast." People cannot uh, use ZBrush that fast. It's uh, not allowed. Goodbye. Yeah, you know, amazing stuff. But joke. This is joke. Hello from Republic of Moldova. Hello, neighbors. We're almost neighbors. I don't think we have a border, but still, we are pretty close. Sculpting while listening to Nico. Best experience. Oh, really? That's cool. That's cool. I would. I would have to try that sometimes. Sculpting while li listening to Nico. Mm -hmm. Could be nice. Yeah. Should try it. Although <laughs> I can speak for myself, for example, and sculpt. Sculpt and speak. But yeah, we'll see. Let's move this a little bit more up. Like this. Yes. I always like this kind of interesting poses. Now let's do the arms. And when we finish with the fingers, uh, we'll see what we'll do. 
Hi Nico, today I watched your tutorial about header topology in ZBrush. Is it the same workflow with Quadro Mesh and Blender? Yes, it's almost absolutely the same. Uh, yeah, it's the same basic thing. So go for it, don't worry. No, uh, I'm. I always say that if you are an artist using ZBrush and you are using ZBrush, and it's going, it's it's good for you. You don't need to go to Blender for sculpting. But if you are not using anything yet, and you just want to try something, Blender is the better tool in the for the beginners, I think. And for experienced artists, Blender also is very good. But uh, experienced artists tend to use what they know. They don't want to go to another product. I'm an exception because I'm a teacher, and I know that with Blender I will get more likes, followers, sales of my courses, and stuff like this. That's why I. I got to Blender probably. <laughs> Most likely. It's all about the money. I have to put food on my table, you know. On my desk. Uh, because I'm eating mostly on my desk, but still. Food, you know. It has to be food. It shouldn't be something else. Like, for example, leaves from the trees uh, downstairs. No. Food will be better, I think. Food is good. It's good for your health to eat. I would say. If I'm wrong, yeah, correct me, but I think I'm uh, I'm right. I should be right, right? Should be right, right. <laughs> uh, okay. Now let's do this arms. Let's see, forward, no, a little bit backward. Yeah, we can fix them even after we did them. It will be pretty cool. How much time has it passed? 17 minutes and we have almost something like arms. But almost yet. They are not completely arms yet. But they will be very soon. Because I will inflate here to make the, the triceps. I always inflate there. I will inflate this front area to make the biceps. I will inflate this area to make the... Um, this is the radio... Well, I, I brachioradialis and uh, other muscles here. This will go like this, I will inflate it, just to have more space to work with. And, and we are starting to have a nice arm. But it should be bigger. We need bigger arms, come on, come on, man. What are you doing? What are those weak arms? This is Superman, what? don't do this. Just be more, uh, you know. Huh. <laughs> Sometimes things happen, okay. Let's read some questions, let's rest a little bit and continue after this. Nico, one and only ZBrush question. Why did you always use always zero mesh and extract armor or any other parts instead of panel loops? Uh, I don't know, this is just my way. Nico, what's, what is joke? Good question, thank you very much. You are funny, uh, thank you. But Nico, do you do, you, do you do any hard surface modeling or mostly characters? Uh, obviously, I do hard surface modeling because I need to do the weapons of the characters, the clothes, and uh, armors, or all that stuff. And I do that. Although here in the in those quick kind of videos, it's impossible to do everything, but I do what I can. I like mostly to do organic stuff. That's why I do mostly characters. But when I do characters, I do them with everything included and suddenly we have something like an arm appearing and you will say but nico how did you do that it's so fast it was nothing and now it looks almost like an arm like a hand wow nico why why are you doing this to us you're making it must look like uh, something whatever I'm just saying, probably you're not thinking of that, but still, you know. <clears throat> uh, how do you go about using another artist's concept for personal work? Do you have to ask them for permission? No. If it's for personal work, you do them, and then uh, you just uh, credit them. Good evening, ladies and gents. Good evening, Scorpion 3D. Scorpion 3D. Nico, what are your thoughts on Maya? Uh, it depends. On which Maya you're talking about? Uh, I have a colleague named Maya, 
And she's a very good artist, by the way. So, yeah. Good things about Maya. Good things. But if you're talking about software, Maya, uh, I don't think it's better than Blender, except maybe XGen and for the hair. Uh, it's for Maya mostly. And, uh, and what? And the animations. Many people say animations in Maya are the best. I mean, but I don't use animations. So for me, Maya is useless. So, yeah, that's my opinion of Maya. Useless software. <laughs> if you want to, if you know, if you want to know, you know, it's useless. Uh, for many people, it will be the best software ever, probably. Animators and animators, probably some animators too. But other people, for 3D artists like me, you know, Blender, 3D Max, and Maya. Also, some people are using Maya. It doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, it matters how much money you have to buy your software, if you want to buy it, of course. And if you don't have too much money, I recommend Blender. Maya is a little bit expensive. If you plan to visit India, then which place do you want to see? Ah, in India. You have to see a lot of things when you go to India. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. A lot of places I would like to meet, to visit. But uh, if I would go to India, I will just go to internet and just look in the internet which places to see in India uh, for, for example, for two weeks. And I will visit the, the best places possible in two weeks. You know, that's how I plan my, let's say, visits into countries. That's how we did uh, Japan, for example. Uh, Shanghai was a little bit different, but yeah, Vietnam was like that. So, yeah. I've been further than India, but not in India. Myself. I know Blender because I'm a hard surface artist, but I sculpting in Zurich because it's an industry standard product and often companies use it, so good to know it. Yeah, of course. You're using graphic tablet for this? Uh, mostly yes. With mouse, it will be a little bit slower and not so preci precision, precisional. <laughs> so yeah, graphic tablet is always good to use for this type of stuff. Hope you know it. All right, here I will inflate probably. And let's make fingers. It will be better if we have some fingers. Why not? Why don't we do some fingers? Many people will say, but Nico, why don't you do some fingers? Yeah, I agree. It will be fine. I will just select this, rotate it a little bit, and then control, drag, 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 drag. This will be our fingers. Let's add a subsurface modifier, increase it at, uh, let's say, two. Mm. Select everything, shift E, do this. And then just put it into position. Maybe bigger uh, our arms will be better or hands. Probably, who knows? But we'll see. But Nico, what is the color of your dog? Mm. That's a very good question. I don't have a dog, but still. It's a very good question. I just imagined this question. It's not in the chat. But it's an interesting question, right? Nonetheless, it's fine. We have to imagine some questions sometimes. Because if I don't imagine them, how would I answer a question while I'm sculpting? It's impossible. I'm looking at my sculpt. I cannot read your questions. So how can I answer them? Probably I should hire an AI to read the questions um, uh, for me. And yeah, probably it will be better. Now, if those fingers, uh, for example, are bigger or smaller than they should be, or whatever happens, we will be able to fix it. Don't worry, it will be okay. We will fix them one by one if, if necessary. Of course, we don't have a huge amount of time here, obviously, but uh, we'll have to do it somehow. We'll see. Let's select this one, rotate. See, I'm not answering too much questions right now. Anyway, but Nico, 
Why didn't you ask my uh, answer my question? I'm so uh, you know confused, and I don't like to, I don't like you anymore, and I will not watch your streams anymore because you don't uh, answer my question. But if you notice, I don't answer too many questions, uh, especially in the beginning stages of the sculpt. At the end, I will answer more questions, as you know, uh, because in the beginning it's difficult for me uh, to concentrate because I'm working very hard to deliver your sculpt, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm doing this for you, not for me. I can do it for me anytime, but for you, I have to do it. Uh, and it has to be here. You see, I duplicated them and now with symmetry and we will start refining this. Cool. Yeah, many people said, <gasps> Fingers, you're doing finger day these days, but I did the fingers of uh, of the El, El Zombo, I think I did the fingers for El Zombo. Also, I did fingers for the Viking, I think. So yeah, these days I was making characters with fists, but uh, this guy has fingers, so we have to acknowledge that, mostly. Yeah, Nico. Nico is allergic to Danatopoe, of course. Maya and Zebras aren't free. What? What? What's happening here? Who, who are you traveling around the world with? Ah, that's a good question. With my wife. She's not my wife, but she's my wife. I mean, <laughs> we're not legally married, but um, we have a kid. And we're living together, so... Yeah. And we are traveling together always. Uh, because she likes to travel a lot. And it happens that... I you also like to travel a lot. So yeah, we are kind of fit for each other. Each other. Each other. Okay, let's see the legs. They are pretty peculiar. Peculiar legs. Okay, before we start the legs, let me save. I'm saving. And now what I want to do is show you the guy who made the concepts. This is the guy. He's called Brian Turner and he's a pretty good artist. He has only 7,000 followers in Instagram, which is a lot more than I have. I have like one and a half thousand or something. So yeah, he has way more and he has very, very cool things. Some of them are, maybe we can use them in the future. Uh, some of those concepts, who knows? See, this Superman looks pretty cool. Ha! <laughs> he's a black Superman, very nice. But he has this kind of very nice expressive style. Like, you know, very cool. So, yeah. Yeah, so this is the guy. And the other guy that contacted me uh, a few days ago is this one. He's called Kizerilla. Kaiserilla. Like Godzilla, but something. But he has amazing, amazing things. A lot of, as you can see, a lot of followers. I mean, yeah. So, um, but he has very nice things. And probably he does streams. He will send me a link tomorrow for his stream. Because in his stream tomorrow he will make something. That This is him by the way I think. It should be him. Yes. Uh, he will send me a link to the stream. Where he will make a character. Which character we will do Thursday. In 3D. Hopefully it will not be super 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 you know detailed. We will see. But it will be a very nice character, I'm sure. Because this guy, as you can see, is world, world class. So I'm sure that we will get something very, very cool. And yeah, nice collaboration. I mean, it's pretty, pretty nice. There are not many people who are speed sculpting like me. Uh, Shane Olson is kind of doing it. He's not so fast, so he's just sculpting probably. But... Uh, uh, at the end, he got nice results, we may say. For how long? Uh, oh, 30 minutes and we have almost everything, which is great. I would say it's pretty cool. Let's read some questions. Where to start learning from realistic 3D skills? Skin details, anatomy. Uh, anatomy I can teach you, but the, the basics, uh, the other things... Hmm. Yeah, and you say you can sculpt stylistic, but cannot do anatomy, which is never true. If you cannot do anatomy, 
you will never be able to do a nice, a very nice stylized model. It will be very difficult. Nico, can I become a billionaire from 3D modeling? Probably. I don't know how, but if I knew, probably I would be. But Nico, can Quadra Mesh retopo the, the whole high poly human mesh to a game ready model like Fiverr? Uh, no, it, it could, but it will be awful. For animation and for other purposes, it will be bad. Can you bet how we will get 10, uh, how we'll get 10k subscribers? I believe in 12th of November. No, 10k probably will be uh, three days from now or something. It will be 10k probably. How do you balance pa personal, family, uh, lifetime and YouTube work? Uh, YouTube is only two hours uh, e every other day. So it's not that difficult. I don't have any other work, by the way. I'm practicing for my new course, but not so vigorously. So I don't know. I'm a big fan of fingers. Yeah, fingering is uh, fingers are pretty cool. Yeah. Please do a zbrush life. No, I will not. These days, will you say El Zombo? It sounds extra satisfying, man. El Zombo. So uh, this is zbrush, by the way, and this is Lobo inside zbrush. I, uh, you know combined all the things together and uh, put them into ZBrush. But then it turns out that the guy I sent it to, to print it, he told me he want me to cut the, the bottom part and the dock to be separate. So I put this into Blender, the decimated version, the combined version into Blender, and I cut it into Blender. We will see what will happen. It will be interesting. But I just learned how to cut into Blender. I figured it out uh, kind of. Yeah, I know. It's it's cool. El Zombo. For stylized characters, looking Nico, all tutorials from Anatomy to Full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should take a crack as as his Ronald McDonald. Yeah, definitely, probably, but <laughs> definitely, probably. But we have to be careful with this uh, trademark stuff. Although, yeah, of course. Uh, Superman and Batman and uh, other heroes that I'm doing are trademark and I'm not concerned because I'm not making money with them which is kind of okay I think to do them hopefully they will not mind so the people from Marvel will say hmm and DC they will say hmm this guy is he making money and they will figure out if I make money and if I make some money they will say we have to take some of the money he's making with our characters. We cannot allow this to happen. And they will take my hard-earned money and I will be out in the street in the winter with my kids. Uh, it will be sad. But yeah, you know, corporates, they don't care. They don't care at all. Speaking of speed sculpting, I know a guy who can be making one model for four months now. <laughs> Uh, do you look uh, at himself in the mirror each morning? There are people like that. I mean, yeah. I haven't never done a model for more than, let's say, three weeks or something. Except for my courses. Uh, of course, but then I record just for a few hours, like an hour a day or something. I cannot do more than that sometimes. So, yeah. Ooh, this leg become pretty big, so let's make it a bit smaller. Let's shape it up and we'll see what happens. Will the leg in reference look good in 3D also? Maybe, we'll see. It depends. But it's starting to look uh, kind of okay, I think. It's not the best though. It's not the best leg ever. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. I like it. It's pretty cool. So I'll show you both, both uh, 2D guys that are the stars of this show. Mm, what else I want to show you? My dick? No, probably not. Something else. Uh, bleh, let's continue sculpting. And that will be that will be it. And yeah, please show us how to do loose baggy clothes. Ah, <clears throat> if I knew, <coughs> if I knew how to do uh, baggy clothes, I would be the best 
character artist in the world. But since I'm not, I'm sorry I cannot help you. It's <clears throat> it's very difficult. It's, it cannot be done. Definitely, it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry about if I'm, <laughs> but I'm still sick. It's not uh, past, it, so it's cool. Do you use a graphic tablet to sculpt that good or just mouse and keyboard? Uh, in this case, I'm using just the keyboard. My mouse has broken off and I don't have a tablet, so just the keyboard. And uh, yeah, if I'm using a graphic tablet, I'm much faster than this. So now with just a mouse, uh, I, I, I can do just that. It's, uh, it's nothing but, uh, you know, it's just with mouse. So we have to acknowledge that. Just the, uh, not the mouse, just the keyboard. No, my keyboard even broke. I'm doing this with... Uh, what else can you do it with? I don't know. With something else which is even more difficult than the keyboard. Let's say that. It's amazing. And if we have to be serious, if we have to be serious, I'm using a graphic tablet, of course. It's impossible for... I mean, I don't know uh, a professional 3D artist who is using the mouse, for example only the mouse and not using a graphic tablet it's kind of you know cannot be done too much okay this leg is too long too big and probably too huge also mm, we can make it smaller by getting like this and make it a little bit smaller all right i think yeah and i will fix the leg as much as i can and then i will duplicate it and fold it with the help of some interesting techniques in Blender, which the ZBrush guys will feel jealous of. So stay tuned for that. Jealousy, stick as mud. That leg is difficult, very thin. Oh yes, we have to make it even thinner here. So I will smooth it. But it's not gonna get thin, but now it will get thinner. Amazing, that's very cool. Now it's better. I mean, it looks very nice, uh, this thin leg. I like it if... If the guy who is making the concept, Br Brian, it was Brian, I'm not sure. Uh, if he's looking, I will congratulate him for his uh, work because it's very cool. I like this kind of very interesting style. I like it a lot. That's why I'm choosing this kind of concepts. Because I know that in 3D they will look also very good. Okay, symmetrize. And now what, what we will do is very, very interesting. It will be... Uh, what? Okay, just like this. I will mask. Then I'll smooth the mask. Then I will take my... Uh, this thing, whatever it is. But it's a thing that I can use. So I will use it and I will fold it. What is happening here? I don't... <laughs> all right, all right. Let's try to do it without this. Okay, now we're talking, now we're talking. And now I will do this. And then, guys, let's do this. Amazing stuff. Now, of course, I will go to my grab brush and just put it into position and it will be just amazing. Yeah, you know, it's not hard. It's just hard in your mind. Ah, if you just do it, it's very easy. So posing is just a child's play, you know. It's nothing. It's very, very easy. The problem is after you pose it, you have to uh, kind of do a lot of work after that. But, but the posing itself... <laughs> you see? Nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing to me. You're nothing to me. Posing, you're nothing to me. Ah, I said it. I said it to the posing. And the posing now is crying in his corner. Because the posing, he thought that he is very smart. And he is very, very difficult. And he is an amazing guy. But no, we showed him. We showed him that we can do better. We can do better than that. <coughs> okay, okay, thank you. Uh, if you make a tutorial and the concept artist agrees to use uh, using for the tutorial, do they get a percentage of the money you make? Don't give them ideas, please. 
Uh, no. Usually they say okay, uh, and that's it, which is great. And uh, in the case of Lobo, for example, the guy was very happy with the result and he asked me for the print files, but I haven't still tested the print file of Lobo, so I will not be able to give him un until I test it. I want to test it and then I will give it to him for him to print it uh, himself. It will be cool. Any plans of doing Black Adam? Ah, uh, you know, those are the things which I don't really do that often, although I will start to do them probably at some point. Uh, to do things which are um, trending, we may say. The trending stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, I'm just uh, adjusting the legs as you can see. They are adjustable, so we're adjusting them. If they are not adjustable, we'll be not be able to adjust them. <laughs> Absolutely. But since they are adjust, I, I made them adjustable, that's why I'm able to adjust them. The ass will be a little bit like, you know, like this. Pretty cool. He's a ballet dancer. Superman. Yeah. Why not? I think he's cool. It's pretty cool. Let's read some questions because for uh, 40 minutes we have done almost everything. So, yeah, hour and a half is left. And what can we do? It's, uh, yeah, we have to stop and uh, do some questions because I'm too fast. I don't know. But Nico, today is um, self-portrait day. You should have sculpted yourself. I didn't know that today is self-portrait day for me. Today is 1st of November. I don't know. I don't know. Any plans for game ready stuff, low poly and baking? Uh, no, because I already did that. I don't want to do this anymore ever. No, <laughs> I'm joking. But uh, yeah, I did it in my other channel. I had the process of retopology in my animal feels the same. Uh, the process of retopology everywhere is kind of the same. Hello from Serbia. How are you? I'm not too good, but uh, still fine. Uh, Nico, tell us a joke. Really? You you don't listen to the to the to the stream from the beginning. It's all a joke. It's everything is a joke here in the stream. It's just ridiculous, ridiculous stream. That's why I did this channel because uh, I didn't want to spoil my other channel with this kind of stupid stuff. And this is what I will do in this channel. Probably it will be fun. Yeah. To get loose clothes, you could use a cloth sim. And, yeah, but it's difficult. I have been doing modeling, sculpting every day, no stop for one year straight. It's been an interesting experiment. And probably you are much better than in the beginning, hopefully. If you don't, if you're not, <laughs> I don't know. Um, Nico has tutorial for full workflow from sculpt to open and bake. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, hi, bitchy. Okay, uh, be more active in Instagram. I should, yeah, right, okay. But I'm waiting for the, um, for the, what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for. Uh, for the 3D printings of some of my works, for example, for the dragon, but the guy who is 3D printing my things, who 3D printed the the demon huntress, who 3D printed the the fat guy with the with the thing, uh, he has his printers a little bit broken. So yeah, I'm waiting now. We all should wait for the Instagram. Maybe I will put some of my tests. Ooh, this knee is the best ever. No, it's not. It's uh, the worst knee ever. But we will fix it, of course. Don't worry. Don't you worry, baby. Don't you worry. Oh. I'm from Russia. Uh, we are all from Russia one way or another. No, we are not. I, I, I guess we're not, but uh, still, yeah. A lot of people from Russia here. Какое это животное? I don't know. Black Panther is trending. Yeah, probably. I like to see Zebra's life, please, Nico. Probably not. Siren Head for some future video. Oh, Siren Head. The Siren Head. I saw it, by the way. It's pretty creepy, but it's very interesting. But it's just a skinny, big creature with the Siren Head. I don't think it's very interesting. That's that's it. Uh, if I find a nice concept for the Siren Head, maybe we can do it. 
Zbrush has banned him from streaming. Yeah, they, they told me you will not stream on our software because he's spoiling our software. Our software is for professionals who can work for one character in four or six months. Not for people who will do a character in two, two hours. It's not for that. This software is not for that. We are Maxon. We forbid you to use our software. And they, they close the... Because before I can answer, they just close the, the thing, the phone. And I was like, okay, no problem. I will go to Blender. It's okay. No issue. Nico, hands can be more out, outwards. Uh, yeah, but he's protecting himself from something. He's like, oh, whoa, 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 relax, relax. Maybe a dog is barking and he's like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Or he's trying to touch some girl. Yeah, some things he's doing, I don't know. Hello, Nico, did I miss the joke? Greeting from Serbia. Yeah, you missed the one joke that I do in each... A stream which is around the 15 minute mark. In every stream I do just one joke. Everything else is super serious in my streams. So this one joke you have to revert back when the stream finishes. Just to see the joke and to, to have a little bit of fun. And then just ditch the video. Don't watch it. Nico, can you uh, do Aaron Eager season 4? I don't know what is this. Probably it's cool. When some meme or anime character sculpting life. I don't know. I'm just choosing if you want you can go to my discord channel in the description of this video i will make a channel suggestions for stream and you will put your suggestions there and i will not do them and it's it will be win-win for everybody you know it will be cool let me just create a channel suggest oops for for streams Suggestions for streams. Uh, create channel. Okay, suggestions for streams. No, the channel is created. You can go to my Discord, go to suggestions for streams, for streams, and post the the concept you want me to do. And I will never look at this channel, and everybody will be completely happy. No, I'm joking. I will look at this channel, and sometimes maybe I will find something interesting. If uh, he lands, he get an ankle broken. Ha ha ha! I, mean, I don't know. He's a Superman. He cannot break anything in Earth gravity. I'd love to see you do something hard surface in Blender. I need more tutorials on how to do hard surface stuff. Mm, it will be not that interesting. Many people are doing hard surface. I mean, the donut guy, the Blender guru. He cannot do characters, so he's doing only hard surface stuff. Uh, Grant Abbott. Abbott. He also cannot do quite well characters, so he's doing only uh, hard surface. Most people in Blender are doing hard surface, so why should I do it? It's it's absolutely you know. Three P is the new sexy. Yeah, it's me. Thank you. I cannot uh, decide whether to do two D or three D or four D or five D. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, you have to try both, uh, and uh, you have to choose your destiny by trial and error but uh, you know if you like 2d if you like to draw you can also do a 3d and maybe you will like it more and then you will go to 3d but i started as a 2d artist i was kind of good not the best not the worst kind of middleman uh, i show sometimes in my streams what i did back in the days in 2d it wasn't the best ever but it's fine. It was fine for Gameloft back in the days to hire me, so I think it's cool. It was cool. Nowadays it's not cool anymore. Because uh, nowadays with this kind of skills that I had back in the day, I don't know if somebody will hire me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I study your face for sculpting purposes. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Okay, no problem. Nico, you should put your other channel to description. But uh, the video, the first video in the description, the first link in the description is to a video on my other channel. So it's kind of there. It's uh, for the Absolute Beginner Blender course. You can check it out in the description. Oh, yes, I have to always say that in the streams. I always forget. 
because I always forget to promote myself in my own streams. How stupid I am, I don't know. Maybe too stupid to be true. But yeah, you can check out my other channel and uh, there you can check out my videos, my promo videos of my courses and you can buy my courses if you want to support me. At some point I will probably uh, go live with my Patreon where I will put some of those streams like for example this one as a 3d figure uh, for printing and you can download it and print it but for now it's just a kind of a thought we'll see if it will happen it will be interesting though okay let's go to the fingers a little bit just for a change i think the legs are kind of okay for this uh, face of the character maybe they should be a little bit um shorter the legs because in the concept they are shorter and i made them too long but still yeah it's fine and maybe also they should go a little bit on the side like this it will look more interesting and a little bit more forward and back like this all right and now the body could go a little bit like this yeah he's very much more like a ballet dancer but whatever it's cool nico you should put your other okay i read that do you watch blender conference which one was your favorite uh, i don't watch it i should probably watch it yeah i know uh, since blender is now my favorite software we can say that uh, i should watch those things create yourself in 3d it will not be interesting for anybody. You you can see me here and then you can see me on the screen. Uh, I mean, no. If you like making most of the characters, you can do uh, Goro from the Mortal Kombat series. Yeah, I had that uh, last time suggested. I will create a channel too. Speed char hits to life faster than... Ooh, two times faster than Nico. It will be great. Do it. <laughs> do you ever see yourself moving out of Bulgaria and work abroad? If so, where will you be like... I don't see myself too much, uh, but uh, in the winters I always wanted to go to Thailand to live for like three months and work from there. It will be amazing to just uh, get away from the European winter in Bulgaria. But um, yeah. mm, no money for that because it it will take a lot of money probably to do it, and no, maybe not enough will to do it. And it's a little bit scary because, you know, different country for that long with kids and everything. It's a little bit like, hmm. What happened in the game loft? Why is it not funny anymore? What's the problem with the sculpts? Uh, is it realistic, related to realistic style? No, I can do realistic style. It's not a big problem for me. I can do uh, almost any style. Cartoon, stylized, realistic. It's fun. It's fine for me. I mean game realism, not real realism like uh, some people like Jan Spriggs for example, if you know Jan Spriggs uh, or Hussein Diba also is doing pretty realistic stuff, but not like that. I mean game realism like most games these days are game realism. It's not pure superb realism. It's like a little bit more uh, idealized realism, we may say. That's what I do and that's what I like to do. I can do it. It's not a big issue for me. But uh, with Gameloft we separated for different reasons. Because they told me, uh, Nico, come, come here. And I went and they told me, Nico, see, you're too fast for us. You're too fast and the other character artists are very upset because you're doing the things uh, like for two hours you're doing things that they're doing for one week. So uh, we have to let you go. And they let me go. And that was the case, you know. That's always the case. I'm too fast. And yeah, my first wife also uh, called me and said, Nico, come here. And I went. And she said, listen, um, I like my men to be a little bit slower in bed. You are too fast. You're doing for two minutes the thing that people are normally doing for 20, 30 minutes in bed. So uh, I have to let you go. And she let me go. That's, you know, sometimes to be fast is not that good. But uh, it's okay. I kind of am fine with that. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not good. 
Irmãos, who can say? You know? Who am I to say? Just normal. A lot of laughing in the chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it sucks to be a genius. I bought Lobo and I learned so much things. Thank you very much. 10 out of 10. Very good. The feet are too big, I guess. Yeah, probably. Krum the horror world, Tsar Samuel, good concept. Hey, if it, there is a good concept. Heniko, I notice you are not using ZBrush anymore. Any reason why you switched to Blender? Uh, yeah, this is uh, probably one of the things that we have talked in this channel for the most. If you combine the all the times that I'm speaking about that in this channel, in all the streams, it will be like uh, maybe four hours of information and all of that information will be a joke. Not, not all, but uh, a lot of jokes I'm uh, saying about that because it's it's about the money. It's always about the money. Because Blender, for me as a teacher, is uh, more profitable, we may say. I'm selling more courses and uh, I'm reaching more people with Blender. With ZBrush, it was it, it's too specialized, ZBrush. Not so many people into ZBrush, but into Blender. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, very good. So yeah, I'm answering this time honestly. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. It's not that I'm super fast and uh, Maxon has, but this is a good version, and I'm 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 holding on to this version of the things, you know. But Nico, who is the best digital sculptor you know? Ah, there are a lot of them. I mean, uh, Rafael Grassetti is pretty good. Uh, you, always, uh, you all know him. It's, he's very good. Hussein Diba is pretty good. Jan Sprix is very good. Uh, but uh, Jan Sprix, if you don't know him, Jan Sprix, he's amazing. Uh, he's specialized in some things, mostly realistic portraits. Uh, Hussein Diba also is kind of specialized in that. Um... But, uh, you know, I like them because I kind of not specialized in that particular thing. So I admire what I cannot do. Exactly. But I'm specialized more in um, stylized stuff. So I do that most of the time. Stylized. And cartoonish because it's faster. Fast is everything. Speed char, you know, speed char. Two minutes is not that fast. Come on, it's average. Ooh, two minutes is it's average. Okay, good. So I'm not that fast, probably, in bed. But yeah. Nico, you're fast, but in the good way. <laughs> Hopefully. Can you press numpad one, please, Nico? I want to compare my sculpt in front view to yours. This is front view. Ah, very not bad. Maybe the, the shoulders could be a little bit more wide. And it will be a bit more nice. A bit nicer we can say home button every time a new original answer and eh, not exactly i will stick to the answer about the speed by the way uh, when people are asking me i will answer that uh, maxon had called me and they told me that i will ruin zbrush with my speed so i'll have to give it up this is my final answer this is the yeah i mark this answer let's see what will happen let's do this this answer for good. I use ZBrush just to zero mesh, then I export again to Blender LOL. Uh, you can uh, try to buy QuadriMesher, it's the same, it's from the same guy who wrote zero mesher, the QuadriMesher for Blender and for other programs. I think it's also for 3 Max, stuff like this. But yeah. Let's connect the fingers and the arms. Uh, because I want to remesh them. Uh, if you got this result, something becomes uh, a different color for green or something, you go face sets and face sets from visible and it just fixed it. And then I will just do this and this and now we have fingers. And this and this, you cannot see my buttons, I see. This and this <laughs> is uh, Shift R and then Control R. Shift R to determine what kind of density I want and then control R to apply. Be very careful with that because sometimes even I 
make the mistake to make the density too high and then my computer just go to hell and I have to restart it from the button, which is never a nice thing. But uh, if you have to, it's, you know. A blender can do things like this. It can ruin your life, but not in a good, but in a good way. But Nico, approximately how much money can you make per course per month, for example? Is it enough for a living? It depends. It depends because in the first month of every course, uh, it makes good money, which uh, if it makes every month this kind of money, I will be pretty good. But then next month, uh, not so much. And at some point, for example, I have courses that are making no more than, I have like 13 or so courses now, and some of them are making no more than $100 a month. Some of them. Uh, the lowest was, I think, for my uh, retopology in 3D Max course, which by the way is useful because it's basic retopology. You can use it for retopology and everywhere, but whatever. Uh, it's uh, like $30 a month or something. Record low. Other than that, it can go up to 1000. In the beginning of the course, it can go even higher. In the first month of the course. But yeah, it depends. So I can make a living, but I have to make courses kind of uh, every two months. I have to get a course out and I will be probably okay. So yeah, finger crossed that I will do that. I will be able to do it. Let's cross our fingers together. Being fast in bed is not wrong, it's being efficient, of course, of course. But Nico, how much do you charge to create a stylized character? It depends. It depends uh, on the complexity. If it's a very complex character, um, I will not take it even, because I don't like to, you know, work that much, to put that much time. Because, yeah, you, you see, I'm fast, but this is... These are uh, initial kind of a sketch sculpts. It's not uh, something that you can use even for 3D printing. I have to spend uh, like a couple more hours to fix it for 3D printing. For everything to be nice and smooth, to connect the parts and everything. It will not be easy. That's why, you know. Now I will color it and you will see the real beauty of this character. Color blue. This probably will be a little bit too much, but let's see. Ah, it's fine. Maybe a little bit lighter blue it be, will be more appropriate. Okay, this is fine. Now this, and then this, and then this. I'm blue. Da ba di da ba da. Da ba di da ba da. Da ba di da ba da. Ba ba ba. I have a blue house with the blue windows. And I'm a blue house. Da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba blue. I have a blue wife, and she is so blue. I'm blue. Da ba di da ba da. Da ba di da ba da. Da ba di da ba da. Nico, you're a top guy, finally giving me the drive to drop the brush from my workflow. That's the spirit. No, no, don't drop it if you if it works. I mean, if your workflow works, why should you change it? I try change it be because of the money, but for you, it should be okay. And a few quit back into the bank. Ah, you, you, you will sell your license of ZBrush. Ah, that's a good idea. Hello, Nico. Can you tell me why the zoom is freezes when I zoom in? Uh, it When you zoom too much in, sometimes you cannot zoom in and out anymore and you have to press the home button to get away of everything. To just get away and be free, you have to press the home button. But uh, sometimes you just uh, have to reset it. It's not a big issue. It's not a big issue at all. I would say it's even a very small issue. But everybody is, you know, their own judge. They can judge for themselves. Uh, 
How many time we have? Ooh, we don't have too much time. Hi from Italy. Hi Italy. One thousand dollar a month is enough in my country. Uh, in my country is uh, not enough. Only the kindergarten for my from my little one, because it's a private one, it costs seven hundred dollars for month, a kindergarten. And then there are other expenses and uh, other expenses and suddenly you are like uh, you are beginning the month with hundred uh, with thousand and uh, five hundred dollars for for example fifteen hundred dollars uh you know off you're beginning the month so you know i have to be a little bit more careful Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, ZBrush artist more serious than Blender artist. <laughs> it depends. I mean, I'm a Blender artist now. What's happening? Uh, yeah, I know. I'm not serious. And you see that I'm joking all the time. So I'm not serious. And I, I understand uh, why you can think that the ZBrush artists are more serious. Because I'm not serious. Yeah, I see that. So yeah, probably you're right. Zebra artists are more serious. Serious. It's getting serious. I'm making it a little bit more, you know, uh, human-like because it was too zombie-like. Now human-like is better. More reddish tint. Now we'll select this tint, go to the arms and make the fingers with this tint because he is wearing some kind of gloves uh, with the same color of his suit, which is interesting. But we will kind of go with the flow. Catching a stream uh, while working feels more satisfying. What is that? Why is that? I don't completely know, but probably it can be can be explained by science at some point. Science could explain everything, I think. So we will wait for their explanation for this phenomenon. Phenomenon. This looks like a phenomenon. It's going faster, faster, like a move to move, and like a best to best. Yeah. Uh, it's going faster, Nico, why my character look different when I'm looking from a locked angle to when I'm sculpting freely? Uh, maybe because of the something called focal length. You have to just make it a little bit bigger. If it's 50, which is by default, uh, I don't recommend that. 50 is good for sculpting a whole character, but not good for heads. So I'm usually sculpting everything with 88. And it was, but why 88? Why not 85 or 90? Why 88? Because 8 and 8 to press it together it's much easier much faster and you know i don't care <laughs> we may say we may say i care but we may say that i don't right it's clear it's completely okay now shift r and i couldn't press shift r shift r ah let's go with this i need more geometry here on the body because i will do some things on the body now Okay, let's go to a brush that has this. It looks cool. Now, mm, I will do this very, very interesting thing. Oops. Yeah, you see, it's uh, fake. I'm faking it, but it will work. So, shut up, please. It's okay. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Okay, I cannot really do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will leave this. I will leave this. Leaving it. Sometimes we have to just be happy with what we have. Otherwise, you know. But Nico, why are you doing this? This is fake. <clears throat> okay, two D artists can do it, and I cannot do it, right? I don't understand. I think I can do it, and I'm doing it. I don't care. That's it. Can you show a sculpt with 50 millimeter focal length and 88, please? Okay. Let's see. Now, 
I especially the head. This is 88. This is 50. You know, if we go closer, it's much more distorted. Let's go 80. Oops. 88. By the way, uh, the guy that uh, is doing also <clears throat> uh, Stefan Hartmann, he told me, he told the guys in Discord, not me, but I was there because I read sometime my own Discord uh, that he's using, because he's doing a lot of faces and stuff, he's using 120 focal lengths. So, yeah, don't do low focal lengths. Just go a little bit higher. It will be better for you, for your own health. It will be better, definitely. It's starting to look cool, I would say. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I think it's pretty cool. There are some things on, on his arms, which I will do just a little bit. You know, just putting this whatever I want and just doing whatever I want because I uh, can. Ah, it looks cool. No, he doesn't have eyes. Which people can say, but Nico, he doesn't have eyes. What, what are you doing? Let's do eyes. Amazing eyes, as always. Nico, you always do such beautiful eyes. I know, thank you. Uh, I'm just, you know, naturally good with doing eyes. They just came naturally to me. I don't know why, why this is happening. But, well, you know, it's never good to make software cult. Yeah, that's right. Heniko, I'm stuck on a job. I don't want to do anymore. I love 3D arts and traditional sculpting, but I'm 37 now and I'm scared of doing this. Um, you, you shouldn't be scared. I mean, you have to, of course, stick to your job because you have to feed your family, I guess, or feed yourself. But stick to your job until you kind of are, are good enough. To just start career in 3D art because eventually it will come if you are, you know, willingly working and practicing. Everything should come together right now. Come together right now. Over me. Alright, it's not the best uh, face ever, we have done better, uh, but it will do. <clears throat> okay, I'll, I'll need to uh, make it a little bit more probably reddish at some points, because it's too much. Okay, now this looks a bit better. Let's make his hair more expressive and let's go to the cape. The cape is definitely will be very difficult to make and we will make it for at least two three minutes and it will be very hard it will take us a long long time like three or four minutes uh, tops hopefully less but we'll see i'm not saying that it will be less but it could be no not x y oh, what's happening okay i did something stupid now it's good extrude forward okay this is fine get this back get this down extrude rotate and extrude and rotate and scale ah it's pretty cool right now with the the, the powers invested in me by blender i will try to make this Cape work. Amen. If uh, you ask uh, if I'm a believer, uh, I believe in God. Uh, no. In my country, it's not popular to believe in God. These days. Probably that's why we are in this uh, kind of situation. Uh, Although all the world is in kind of 
situation, bad situation these days. Uh, maybe because of that, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here. And I'm trying to not be super loud. <laughs> because it will be bad. <laughs> because it will be bad for you. If I'm very loud. So I'm trying not to be super loud. You know. You see his cape is amazing. Uh, it's not amazing yet. But it will be kind of okay. At some point. I speed run. Yes. Hi Nico, I've posted my last model whip into the whip category of your Discord. Did you see it? Can you say what you think of the des design I did for my character? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Uh, man. Why are you asking me? <laughs> it's amazing. It's very good. I mean, it's super cool. I cannot say anything. I will show it. This is this is the model, right? It's uh, it's very good. Yeah, I cannot say anything else. Ah, you are trying to make um, advertisement on my channel. Yeah, it's very cool. You see, people are like, "Holy shit, that's so cool!" And it's cool, definitely, it's cool. But you are a famous artist, so you know it's normal. You're good. Don't be insecure. You're very good. Hello, I have one idea. You can make a Patreon on any platform supporting artists. People could pay to choose the next character you will sculpt. Hmm. I don't like people to choose the character that I'm sculpting, even if they give me money, because, you know, I like to choose them myself. And I uh, gave all of you the way to propose a character, if you want. And the way is by my Discord channel. I miss the political jokes. Ah, they will come. Don't worry. Everything comes kind of naturally here. We cannot force it. We cannot push the things. We have to, you know, relax and go with the flow. Whatever happens. Sometimes political jokes will be. Sometimes they will not be. Um, yeah. When, for example, the Russian president who I respect very much because I don't want to be killed or something uh, or murdered or tortured, whatever. So if he called me and say, Nico, I heard that in, in your channel, you are mocking me. Most likely in some of the next streams, I will not mention his name because, you know, obvious reasons. So we have to be careful with this, you know. Yeah. No, Nico, I'm not famous at all. Uh, but you're good and you will be famous, most likely. I just wanted your opinion on my design because I've never did a design for a character like this. It's a little bit too many things on the character, but it looks good because all of the, these things you did very well. And even if the design itself is not the best design ever or something, you did it so well that it it's nice. It's looking good. So, I don't know. How do I join the Discord? Click the link in the description. Try it. Do you import the sculpting paint from Blender and Substance Painter? Yes. Yes. I'll tell you a joke. Now our president is ex-prisoner. That's pretty funny, right? Ours is kind of... Not the president, but the former prime minister is a former uh, guy from, from the underground. So, yeah. And he was prime minister for almost 12 years. Watch out, Nico, don't die, please. Uh, hopefully, but, you know. Hello. The one safe from Brazil, bro. I'm self. Oh, okay. Yeah. Be safe, yeah. High praise, indeed. Yeah, because the guy's good. Uh, how do you select different object while in sculpt mode? With Alt-Q, just the hover with, uh, with Alt-Q. Yeah, you cannot see my uh, what I'm pressing, but Alt-Q while hovering on the models let's go with some kind of a reddish color and color the cape red is yeah this red but a little bit darker painted red painted black all right the cape is cool but we have to subdivision surface at least three times and edge data has to go up 
All right. Oops. Let's. Oops. Hey, nice. Okay. Good. Ah, looks uh, not the best. But yeah, we need to make the logo also. It's important because what is Superman without the Superman logo? Ah, he's just a man. So, yeah. Just a man. He's not super at all. He is not super at all without the Superman logo. We have to put the Superman logo. It's important to do this. We will do this no problem. It will be amazing stuff. <clears throat> That's right, Nico. Makes sense. My next character will be based on a concept from someone else because original stuff uh, too much. Uh, yeah, takes too much time. Of course. Uh, you know, you see, like uh, people who are very good sculptors, like um, Grassetti. You know, he's uh, amazing. So he's doing stuff from different sculptures. Uh, I mean, different uh, concepts, not his own concepts. Of course, for example, for his last character, the Lobo, he probably has, I don't know if he used a particular concept, but the character is known. It's a particular character. So yeah. From a good concept, good character. From a bad concept, uh, if you are a very good character artist, you can do from a bad concept a good character, but it's difficult. It's definitely difficult. So I don't quite recommend that. I recommend using good concepts only. At least try. All right, so the eyes. I'm trying to do a little bit better eyes here. It will not happen most likely, but yeah, let's make them bigger since this is a, you know, he's a stylized Superman, something, something. The hair needs more work. If I, I have to uh, 3D print that. I don't know how I will do it. I mean, because he has a very thin legs. I probably have to stick something into his butt like a like a stick uh, to hold him. It will be pretty funny, right? So why not? Funny things are nice. Everybody will see him and he <laughs> uh, sticking his butt and something like this. It will be fun. Why not? We'll see. We'll see. I'm not saying that I will do this. I'm just saying that could be could be done, right? Hello Nico, for 3D printing, is the topology necessary? Uh, for me it's not, for many people probably, but no, it's not. The retopology is not necessary uh, at... Uh, I mean, um, if your model is looking smooth enough. If it's not smooth enough, I just retopologize, project, do that stuff and it will be fine. Why am I working on this i don't know uh let's go here and still the face at some point looks awful so let's fix it all right yeah it's not the worst but it's not the best too i would Go with it. It's fine by me, let's see. A little bit more realistic stuff, but it's uh, kind of stylized, so it's fine. It's realistic, but stylized, if you, if you know what I mean. It's completely stylized, by the way, but whatever. Nothing too realistic here. Nothing to look at here. So go. Good question, which I guess is no, but do you do other stuff besides from ZBrush or just sculpt sculpt? Uh, yes, I do push-ups sometimes. I also um, mm, go to the bathroom sometimes. I poop. I also breathe sometimes and eat. 
Sometimes I walk outside. I sometimes drive a car even. I know it sounds a little bit ridiculous, but I do it. Yeah, I do some stuff, you know, despite the treaty. It's not that much, but I do it. You know, it just has to be done. Other stuff than the treaty. Nico, how do you do uh, these amazing capes? You know, it's just a question of uh, how amazing they are. I don't know. But uh, it's a uh, practice time. Practice. Just practice. But they are so cool. Really, how do you do it? But you are seeing everything I do here. Why do you ask? No, nobody is asking. I'm asking myself. Yeah, sometimes I talk to myself also. So instead, uh, I mean, sometimes I'm doing ZBrush, sometimes I'm doing Blender, mostly Blender this time, not these days, not so much ZBrush. Sometimes I'm talking, I'm talking to myself. This is what I do, mostly. Простите, не умея на английски задават въпрос. Вы не знаете русски язык случайно? Аз знаю, знаю, я знаю, but uh, I don't speak that much. Uh, the, the guy is asking, uh, do I know uh, Russian uh, by any accident because he doesn't know English? Uh, you can, uh, ти може задават твою въпроси по руски. Я буду отговарю, отговаряват английски. I told him that he can answer, uh, he can ask the questions. I tried to tell him, I don't know if I say it right, but I tried to tell him he can ask his questions in Russian and I can ask, answer the questions in uh, Bulgarian, for example. No, in English, in English. Why not in Bulgarian? No, uh, nobody will understand most likely. I did learning 3D improved your 2D skills. By the way, uh, not so much. I mean, probably it improved something in my 2D, like anatomy and stuff like this, but it didn't improve actually my 2D because in order to learn and to be better at running, you have to run. You don't jump from, from, a, a, from just a stale position or you don't uh, do push-ups. It's physical activity, but it's not the same. That's what I'm saying. If you want, if you uh, want to learn how to do something, you have to do this thing, the particular thing that you want to learn. Oh, we are ah, we have time. We have time. I was about to say we have to do the the emblem, but we'll do it. No issues. No issues there. I will just draw it, by the way. It will be much easier for me to draw it. And that's it. And then if I want to make it for 3D printing, I have to, you know, redo it. But it's okay. I will do the yellow part. And I will have to answer your questions later, but uh, I don't see the previous ones because the chat is going like, you know, going and going. I don't know how many people are in the in the stream, by the way, probably not so much. Our record was a few streams ago when we had uh, two, 200 and something people. It was wow. Now we have way less than that, I guess. Any tips on taking compliments? On taking them? I don't know. Thank you. It's, I think it's enough. I heard you poop in two seconds. It's fake? No, it's it's uh, actually true. I poop super quick. But what takes me more time is to clean my ass after the poop, you know. It takes a little bit more time than the poop most of the time. But it's okay. You cannot uh, do it very quickly because it has to be quality, you know. Quality over... Uh, the fastness. Nico, is it possible to pick up woman music to the skills? Probably. I haven't tried it. Probably it's possible. You could try use the cloth brush to add some wrinkles into the cape. 
Yeah, but I haven't used it that much, so I don't do too much experiments uh, in stream. Guys, please like the stream. Like the stream, or if you don't like it, don't like the stream. Спасибо большое за ответ. Thank you so much for answering, okay? Hmm. Congratulations on the congratulations on the work. Success to you. Hook, I'm from Brazil. Hello from Brazil. I mean, you, you're a lot of people from Brazil. Don't think you're the only one from there. A lot of people from Brazil. A lot of people from Turkey also. Damn, lots of Brazilian fans. Cool, yeah. Oh, 300 was record. Really, really. Nico, why don't you make your YouTube channel as subscription? Um, maybe I will. This channel, it will not be subscription. Everybody will be able to watch it. But you will be able to probably, if I can do it, I'm not sure. Uh, but in a couple of weeks, hopefully, you will be able to donate on the chat. I don't know if it will happen, but I'm working on it. But it will take a few weeks. It will not be very quickly. Speed poop. Yeah. If you want your channel to grow, just do anime characters and it will skyrocket. Uh, yeah, but it will be uh, kind of artificial. What do you say? It's not gonna be realistic. I mean, it will be artificial with with anime characters because everybody likes them. Not everybody, but there are many fans of anime characters. Maybe I will do some anime characters here and there. Why not? I'm doing just whatever I like in this channel. That's the beauty of it. It's not something that, oh, it has to grow. I have to make a lot of subscribers. I don't care. That much. Yeah, I care, of course, because here it will be again a channel for me to, um, when I get a new course out there, I will be able to, you know, to advertise it in this channel, which is great. Another another channel to advertise my stuff. Yeah, you know, this is my um, my uh, plan, my hellish plan to advertise you with my courses. Uh, for example, once every month, hopefully, but probably once every two months. We'll see how it will go. Superman logo is almost done. It took me too much time. It usually takes me around three minutes to do it. But now since I'm answering questions, it took a little bit more. This guy's face is looking awkward. But it's fine, I guess it's fine. Uh, we can deal with it. Maybe the arms can get a little bit different pose. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can do it, by the way, because posing. He's pushing. Breaking the arms, no. Uh, no. No, it's okay. I think it's okay. How many hours is stipulated to finish a character like the werewolf you made on YouTube, for example, with retopology and basic paint job? What does the industry think is reasonable amount of time? It reasonable amount of time would be around two weeks uh, because we have feedback. You are working, then feedback, then you're working and stuff like this, yeah. Nice arm animation. Yeah, I know. I'm a. Sometimes I'm do anima I do animations. You know, in some of the streams I do animations, and it's fun. It's cool. But let's see this guy. Eh, he doesn't look bad. We have everything, kind of. It's looking almost good. Now let's let's say that he's looking good, huh? Let's say he's looking good. Let's. Ah, <gasps> boots! I forgot the boots, and I'm uh, something is missing. Boots, of course. Oh, oh! I'll almost forget the boots. Like in my other channel, I was doing this kind of uh, girl head, 
mm, stylized and I forget to do the eyebrows. So, so much shame. So much shame. You know? I just burnt a paper, took the ashes and just pour it over my head. That's that much shame I had when I did that. But, you know, it's normal. Sometimes win, sometimes loon. Sometimes win, sometimes loon. This is the words of a famous Bulgarian football player, Christos Tuichkov. Sometimes win, sometimes loon. Some people, if they are interested in football, they definitely know him. He was uh, very good in Barcelona. But a uh, long time ago. Now he's like 60 years old or something. So yeah. But his English was better than mine. Sometimes win, sometimes loon. Amazing stuff. So deep. So such deep English he has had. He even still have it, has it probably. Because he's still alive. These days. Now be the real hero and share the character with us. With us. Why do you need the character with us? I don't know. His red legs, red legs, red rednecks, but red legs. All right, the legs are gonna be great. Uh, you know, I'm doing this so stupidly in the back because I don't care about the back that much. We care mostly about the front because of the thumbnail. The thumbnail be will be from the front. That's why we care only about the front and the back doesn't interest us at all mm, now it looks more like it no ah very much better okay all right now let's answer some questions until it's uh okay uh this time i will name this for hour and a half because you you know, actually, I did this for hour and a half, we may say, right? Oh, answering questions and stuff like this, hour and a half. Okay, save it, because we need to be safe. Let's be safe and save it. And Nico on the toilet need to print screen face expression. Everybody on the toilet probably it's looking pretty interesting. Now the real hero in the game. Okay. Hey man, greetings from Gorilla Games. Oh, really? Because you started trying organic sculpting, would love to get some feedback. Gorilla Games. Hmm. Because if you ah you tried skill, uh, organic sculpting, I love to get some feedback. Uh, post it in the whip section of uh, Discord, for example, and say it's from Gorilla Games, and people will pay attention to it. Probably will uh, have some comments. Comments? Who knows? But Nico, do people in Turkey like to eat turkey? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, people from Turkey probably will say ha ha ha. Are the Hungarians hungry? Ha ha ha. So yeah, those kind of jokes, you know. Uh, and now Turkey, by the way, is not called Turkey. It's called Turkey. Uh, something else. They renamed the country, I think. Hello and stuff like this. Nico, have you seen Invincible? Yes, of course. Amazing series. I like it. It's too much blood and gore, but i like it i don't know it's just i love it also the boys very interesting series is uh the boys and this oh why don't we have sim ah because of the logo i will make it a little bit thinner on his waist all the bulgarians bulgy of course Nico, what did you study in college? In college, engineer design is my uh, specialty. We studied 3D Max, we studied AutoCAD, we studied SolidWorks, we studied Photoshop, we studied Excel, uh, we studied uh, all other things, but you know, it was hilarious. I mean, uh, when we got to study 3D Max, I already knew it better than the teacher. Uh, and I didn't know it very well. So it was, uh, whatever, it gave me time, four years, to teach myself some things and I become 
became good in uh, in Photoshop, very good, kind of good in Coral Draw, uh, and also kind of working in 3D Max. Not very good in 3D Max though. But then I became better in 3D Max, and then in ZBrush, of course. Turn his face like reference. Uh, ah, to turn it. Ah, because he's turned one side. Really, should I turn it? No, because probably I will work on him more if I want to do a 3D printing. If I turn his face, it will be difficult, but... Okay, I will turn it. I will try to turn it. Just very roughly like this. Yeah, it's better. Thank you. It's better. It's better. Let's put some shadows, by the way. With the shadow, it was even better. Shadow is better. Cavity. The cavity is not exactly needed, I think, in this case. So we'll leave them like this, and I will answer some of your questions the best I could. Hey, brother, how are you doing? I have a little bit of pain on the of the throat, throat pain, but uh, we'll see if it will kill me. Do, 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 do. Looking forward to a tutorial on how to prep the sculpt for 3D printing. Yeah, definitely will be one. When you have to sprint, split the model. I uh, invented a way to split the model pretty nicely, so stay tuned for that. It's Turkey, Turkey. Yeah, something like this. Post it in Whip, we'd love to get some comments. Let's see it, by the way. Ooh. This one is not looking bad at all, man. It's not bad at all. I would say it's pretty good. No. I will go further and say it's very good. So, I think you have future in this. And I see you, you made the hair very quickly. So, you have future also in the speed sculpting. So, uh, maybe you should make a channel and uh, we will be competition or something. But it looks very good. And you see, even Guerra said it's looking very good. So, it's looking good. Definitely. 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 I'm not joking. It's looking very good. Try to create the Terminator. Ah, it will be difficult. It's a little bit complex. I don't know. Is Bulgaria similar to Bosnian, perhaps? Uh, ah, Bulgarian language, you mean? I don't know. I mean, it's similar to Serbian, it's similar to Macedonian, it's very similar to Macedonian. Basically, they are pretty much one language, almost, but not quite. Mm, it's similar to Russian for me, at least. How do you start learning sculpting from books? No, no books. Mostly from uh, internet and from other people. Because I had some people around me in Gameloft when I was starting learning uh, ZBrush. And also, I knew some anatomy before that, and it was easy for me, kind of. Uh, da, da, da. I'm very late again, but I'm here. Okay. By the way, your other YouTube channel helps me so much on character creation as greeting from Mexico. Very good. Uh, that's the purpose of the other channel, to help you with sculpting, with anatomy, with tips, uh, whatever character tips. This channel purpose is to have fun and if you have fun it's the purpose is okay hello from iran Ooh, your name is uh, with ak-47 hmm dangerous iran yeah we are making ak-47s in bulgaria too they are made in many countries by the way but bulgarians ak-47s are one of the best in the world i may say that yeah uh, this is not very proudful we may say it's weapons they use it to kill people. But at least we do something good, you know. Do you suggest switching these days from ZBrush to Blender? If in the future you want to make some teaching videos too. Ah, if you want to make teaching videos, I suggest you make teaching videos for Blender. It's better. You see, my streams, even in this channel, which is pretty new, it's one month and and one week old so a month and a week old channel is gathering more live viewers than zebra central channel so uh, because i'm using blender 
and uh, probably because I'm fast. I'm not, I don't know why exactly people are watching me. You may say, I don't, lo I don't like the, the uh, shoulders, by the way. I would just make them a little bit more sharp. It will be, I think, better to have a little bit more sharpness in the shoulders. Because in the concept, they are more like uh, robotic shoulders. I think this is better. Well, Bosnian, I can understand, so it's similar to it then as well. Uh, I don't know. Serbian? Yeah. Uh, if you come to Bulgaria, for example, and live here for like one month, you will start understanding almost everything in Bulgaria, if you know Serbian and Bosnian. Yeah. In the next videos, you can make characters from Dungeons and Dragons animation, please. Probably not, because yeah, you have to go... You have to go to my Discord channel and to the channel, to my Discord server and to the channel suggestions for streams. You can post your suggestions there and I will uh, kind of ignore them. Uh, or I will look at them. We'll see what will happen. Uh, Guerrera said I've learned uh, Guerra, not Guerrera. I'm sorry, Guerra. Uh, I've learned 3D mostly with Nico and Grasetti. I'm pretty uh, flattered by that because I see you're a very good artist. I mean, you probably even surpassed me in uh, some ways. Uh, yeah. You have other channel. What are they? Go to the links in the description. There are videos in the description. The promo videos of my courses. They are in the other channel. And there are a lot of other videos for anatomy. How to model hand. How to model fist. How to model head. How to model... Other parts I will have to do soon a video how to model legs and stuff like this. Just an, a little anatomy videos I have there. Wait a second, Nico has two YouTube channels. <laughs> Mind blown, you know. Eh, hey, bro, to Bulgarian uh, 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 The guy is asking me if I'm Bulgarian, and I told that I'm not, but in Bulgarian. So, ah. Uh, it's a little bit of a mind game. Is he Bulgarian? But how does he know Bulgarian so well? Maybe he's Bulgarian. No. Who knows? Pelisterka. <laughs> uh, hello from Brazil. Yeah, a lot of Brazilians. Nazdrave. Nazdrave is uh, cheers in Bulgarian. And also in uh, Nazdarovi is in Russian. And in other languages, so Slavic languages, Nazdrave, you know, in Polish I think is something similar or not, I'm not sure. I like you honestly. Honestly, thank you. If we have to be honest, everything is okay. But Nico, why did you finish so fast? I couldn't get on time. Yeah, that's a problem uh, that, yeah, I told you, my um, first wife also said that. You know. Sometimes I finished uh, even before she gets out of the bathroom, you know, and I'm already done. And I'm sleeping and she, she was disappointed. So it's uh, but it's uh, other story, you know. Yeah. Did you ever think of doing mentorship? Yeah, I'm thinking about that, but it's a little bit more different than I'm used to doing things, you know. So far, Nico has speed sculpted sculpt, uh, Superman and Batman. Just have to do Wonder Woman and you'll complete the DC Holy Trinity. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, we'll see. Would you call up on other sculptors on a sculpt off? Yes, I am considering that, by the way. Yes, we'll see. Are you competitive? Mm, not super competitive, though. Благодаря за видеята. Ники много си готвен успех късмет. Thank you very much. So Vaskus Art is Bulgarian. He said thank you for the video, Sneaky. You are very cool. Uh, good luck and um, and good luck. Yeah. So yeah, very good in Bulgarian. <clears throat> Any good Mexican restaurants in Bulgaria? I'm not sure. Probably they should be. They should be in Sofia. There should be everything, but not as good in Mexico, I guess. It's in Romanian as well. Who? I don't know. <clears throat> You know, just logo of Superman and hair, you will be like the character, almost. Yeah, with the hair, probably. Well, that's what she said. Yeah, of course. It happens to all of us. It's normal. I mean, uh, it happens to all of us, but not many are uh, saying it. I mean, many people are like, oh, no, no, no. It, 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 it never happened to me. Never. 
Nico, I'm planning to get a job in CD Project Red in 2024. You probably will be able to. And if I get it, I'll credit you in the interview process. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, probably I will go there too and we will be colleagues, you know, in CD Projekt Red. Why not? I, will, I would work for them probably. It's a pretty cool company, I guess. But uh, let's not say anything. We don't know. Where do you learn 3D? Uh, from uh, from people like Grassetti, from people like um, the Indian guy. How was his name? Ryan Kingslane. Ryan Kingslane. Uh, he's very good. And uh, from him, from uh, Zach Petrok, for example. Zach Petrok, many people don't know him. But Zach Petrok has two videos <coughs> which changed my life. They're for anatomy. And they are for um, putting muscles in ZBrush. Putting muscles on top of the skull is one video, and putting muscles on top of the body, on top of a skeleton, is the other video. And it's very good. I watched those videos many, many times. It's very useful. I should watch them again, by the way. Although I'm kind of uh, good right now, but when I was learning, they helped me too. But it's not only one source. You have to look for a lot, a lot of sources. Nico. Nico was so fast that I pee and when I come back, it was halfway. If I poop, when I come back, Nico will be asleep. Definitely. Definitely. If you poop for two hours. But if you poop for two hours, uh, then you will not be able to stand up because your legs will be, you know, uh, cramped. Uh, because of uh, sitting too much, yeah. Is it true that Bulgaria is controlled by vampires? Uh, no. This is true about Romania, because Count Dracula is from Romania, it's not from Bulgaria, so... Where the... okay. Why are you always in a blue t-shirt? Because I like blue, it suits me well. And because I don't have orange t-shirt. I would stream in orange t-shirt every day. I mean, orange is the best. I have to just find one. But since I don't go shopping too often, I haven't found a nice orange t-shirt. Someday. In what way do you consider doing mentorship? Here, in my head, I'm considering it. Like, thinking of how can I do this? In what way can I do this? <laughs> I mean, I tried once uh, with uh, Luca. Luca is an Italian guy. And he is uh, kind of getting good at sculpting. He's a fitness instructor, by the way. And um, I think competitor in bodybuilding. But uh, whatever. So, we tried with him a uh, Zoom session mentoring session and it kind of works we can do that it's possible probably but i don't know if it's worth it to pay uh, for example 50 dollars for an hour with me what use can it be i mean for 50 dollars what can you do you can buy three courses from udemy even more and you can watch those courses and get way more information you know so i don't think it's a very good idea for for people i don't know hey nick do you still work in a studio not anymore what do you think of uh, ycf cg artists arts words i don't know i don't know what is this nostrovia is choose in romanian as well Nas nostrovia ah like nazdrave yes and nazdarovia yes Nazdorovia is in uh, Russian. Let's go to city. Then, Nico, we will go fast cults and people will be jaw dropped. <laughs> yeah, 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 but uh, you know, when I think about it, CD Project Red will be more fit, more fit for you because you like to do this kind of detailings and to go deep into the details and to lose yourself into the details. I don't like that. I like fast to go to the main shapes and overall good looking and then I lose interest, you know. Zak Petrov. No, not Petrov. Zak Petrok. It's the same. Zak Petro. Because probably he's... I don't know. Zak Petrok. What kind of... He's some Slavic country, probably. I don't know. Not Petrov. Uh, let's let's find Zak Petrok videos, by the way. It will be interesting. If they're on YouTube. I don't, I'm not sure. Zak. Zak. Petro. Ah, uh, still... Zach Petrok Illustrator. Oh, this is not him. Ah, this is probably him. Zach Petrok. Instagram. 
He has Instagram with 2000 something followers. But is this the same Zach Pedrock? I'm not sure. We have to look back. Mm, I'm not sure. Zach Petrok, the brush, anatomy video. I'm just uh, looking at my other channel. Oh, it's here. Digital anatomy lecture. Um, yes. Videos. No. Images. Yeah, let me show you. So, this is kind of what he did. Very nice anatomy model. But this is uh, somebody who is making it. Uh, okay, this is very cool with nice pose. And he is putting muscles and saying this muscle here, this muscle here. Sculpting a little bit. And this video is only, I think, less than 2 hours. So, less than my videos. He, he had prepared the, the muscles and he had put them. And I think it's... It's fast, but it's um, it should be somewhere. You can buy it somewhere, I think. I'm not sure. This. Zach Petrov. It's pretty cool, I would say. But my videos about anatomy are also nice. And the best thing for anatomy right now, I think, is uh, Procus videos. Procus videos are just, well, the best ever. Very cool. Proco anatomy. What was your profession when you worked at Gameloft? I was a 3D character artist, believe it or not. I know. Stop calling us vampires. I don't call you vampires. I said just Count Dracula is from Romania. And this is not a lie. I've seen his castle. I almost went inside his castle, but the, the line was too long. And I said, fuck it. Uh, I, I said, <clears throat> I will not do this. And I went to another castle. By the way, there are very beautiful castles in Romania. Amazing. I mean, so beautiful. So beautiful. In Romania. In Bulgaria we don't have this. Zak Petrok, yes. Yeah, I know Luca as well. And he asked me for mentorship too. Ah, yes. Luca is searching for uh, mentorship in other places than me. I'll have to speak with him for that. Hmm. Hmm. Luca. Hmm. Hmm. But Nico, do you have a job now or just contact freelance work? I don't have freelance. I don't have a job. I'm jobless. I uh, am only relying on my courses, on the selling of my courses. So go to the links of the description and buy them from our station because I get the most money from the R station ones. Wait, our station, the best. Nico, I sculpt every day for six hours and every day I became worst. Do you suggest to bang my head on the wall? No. Because there are, you know, times that you are sculpting, you know, it became better, better, better. And then you be continue sculpting, but you go down. You go down, 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 and you sc oh, depression, everything. But if you endure it and you continue, you will go up again. And it will be sudden up again, and you will continue to go up. If you are really broke, you can change to Turkey with your VPN and buy courses in Udemy for very cheap prices. Good idea? Yeah. For Turkey, by the way, uh, many things are cheaper. I mean... In games, the prices in Turkey are cheaper and other things. So it's a good idea. You are very genuine. 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 I don't know how to pronounce genuine. 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 Thank you. Nico, grab the money. People love to give money to people they admire. Use the weapon for extra power. <laughs> grab the money. <laughs> how to grab the money. If people want to give me money, they have to just buy my courses in our station. It's very easy. Very, very easy. It's nothing too complicated, you know. And after a month, probably we will have the option for donations on the chat. Uh, I don't expect too much, but uh, we will have the option at least. Hopefully. Nico, you are not right regarding the courses. Question and answer. Que uh, ah, question and answer. Yeah, sometimes give much more value. This is the reason why people buy courses for more than 50 euros in uh, in order to ask. Yes, I saw, by the way, today, Sean Olson, Sheen, Ol Sheen, Sheen Olson, whatever, this guy that's uh, that doing the same thing that I do. He's sculpting for two hours, some character, but he's doing that for a long time for Zebra's channel, but he has his own channel also, with around 6,000 subscribers. Uh, so he also sells his course, for about a thousand bucks 
so it's pretty expensive. But there is the option to um, probably talk with him. I'm not sure. So that's probably that's why probably it's uh, so expensive. And probably since it's so expensive, probably it's better than my courses because my courses are for twenty dollars and less. So it should be better. Do you like making UVs? Not so much. Proko is one of the best art teachers in the world, definitely. Uh, link to Petrok video. I don't have it. Uh, I may uh, say that uh, the Petrok videos I watched back in the days and they were pirated from somewhere and somebody gave them to me. So, you know, it's not my fault. I don't have a link to them. Lula president. Ah, you're starting again with the political thing. Yeah, no problem. If you can choose one course from yours, what is the best bite for a beginner who wants to create a whole character, for example, like the one you did now? Uh, the course with the mouse is for the beginner <coughs> in Blender. Uh, the other ones are a little bit more intermediate, but they are for more complex characters. Like Lobo, for example, is pretty complex character in Blender, uh, mostly for 3D printing. So yeah, for combination of courses to watch. So I have the ability to do it like this. Uh, in order to do it like this from the beginner level, you have to go through most of my courses, especially the anatomy ones, and you have to go through them each few months. So you go through the female anatomy, for example, then you practice, practice, practice. After three months of practice, you go back to it, you make it again, and you will be better and better. And you watch also Proco videos, you go to some other Anatomy for Sculptures, uh, references, real people, all that stuff. It's a time-consuming process, I mean, takes years. You can ask... Uh, <clears throat> what is the name of... I, Gera, Gera, I always forget names, you know, Gera. Gera. We can ask Gera how much time did it uh, took him to become this good. And by this good, I will show again his his art. It's pretty good. Can we see it bigger? Control plus, no. Open original. Okay, we can see it bigger. But not bigger than this. Aha. Uh -huh. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is good work i would say even very good work maybe the legs are a little bit shorter but i'm not sure if it's crushed by the resolution maybe i would make the legs a little bit longer since she is on high heels but only that only that other than that i don't know it's very detailed everything is on point Ah, yeah, but he has to say how much time did it take him. To get into this level, for me, it took me more than 10 years from starting to sculpt until now. And I improve little by little every day. Do you use Substance 3D? Mm, yes. Substance Painter. It was cold when I was using it <laughs> more. Yes. Is there any difference between anatomy sculpting life in ZBrush, hand, head, whole body from primitives, and superhuman anatomy sculpting? I don't know. No. <clears throat> what uh, kind of difference should it be? Anatomy sculpting, if I do it in ZBrush, if I do it in Blender, if I do it in 3D code, if I do it in with clay, it doesn't matter the medium what matter or the program what matters is that you are learning sculpture you are not no sculpture you are learning anatomy you are learning the the muscles in 3d which i think is the best way to learn it that's why i made it in zurich but many people are saying why don't you make your anatomy videos or anatomy courses in blender again it's useless the medium doesn't matter what matters is the anatomy knowledge it doesn't matter whether it's in ZBrush or Blender. I donate in pesos. It doesn't matter. Pesos or dollars, if it's like uh, the equivalent of a thousand dollars, it doesn't matter if it's in pesos or whatever. It's cool. 
grab the money meant about the mentorships. Ah, the mentorships. Probably I have to make uh, some kind of arrangement um, to have some time in the week for mentorships. And if people are willing to give this amount of money, they have to think of questions to ask me, stuff like this, so it will be useful. I don't know. I, I, I haven't done that, so it will be kind of I have to try it a couple of times trial and error you know i have to try it for cheaper price in the beginning and then when everything is okay then to bump up the price and make it for a thousand dollars an hour of course not uh, around 50 dollars an hour probably will be the price and uh, as i know the how the things are in the world right now not many people can afford that so I don't find it very worthy doing it because, you know. What's the time there? Uh, in India it's 2 o'clock. Here it's uh, almost 11 in the evening. Yeah. To get into level I'm now, it took 15 months actually. Really? 15 months only? Very good. Your inspiration to us all. No, I'm not. I, I said it like a, like an irony, but it's not really inspirational for 15 months to become that good. You have to show me, by the way, post it in the web section, your model from 15 months ago. Let's see it. Let's see your level. But something similar, like a model of a whole body, or if you have one, or the face, how it changed. I mean, through the years, through the months, because... It's year and a half, less than year and a half, so it's very good. Gabriel Guerra, yeah. Love the cloth in the back. But Gabriel Guerra is in the chat. He just wrote above your comment. Do you believe that still anatomy, after so many base meshes, is the number one thing for character artists? Uh, yes. Still anatomy, for me, is the best thing for character artist and then if you want to learn how to do uh, like bent arm and stuff like this when you know the anatomy you will be able with references to do everything it's not a big issue it's an issue but it's not a big one now that you have adopted blender as your main sculpting promo would you consider doing a talk in the future blender conference if they ask for it and if they give me a theme what to speak what they want me to speak for why not? It will be a pleasure of me to promote Blender because it's free program. I'm amazed how this free program can do this and make me money, for example. Because with my Blender courses, I'm making more money than my ZBrush courses, although I have more ZBrush courses right now selling. I have like nine ZBrush courses and four Blender courses, I think. So the four Blender courses are making more money per month than the uh, ZBrush courses. Yeah. Do you like playing video games? Yes, I do. Uh, how you put template picture in Blender? This is the program called PureRef. I have to say it probably every time when I stream because uh, people are wondering. I mean, uh, many people don't know. But this is PureRef. It's a free program. It's amazing. You can put a lot of things in one file and then go and do this. I did this Batman already. Do this, for example. I tried this, it doesn't work. Do this, I tried it, it doesn't work. I do this, I did um, I did that. Do this. This is very nice, by the way. I probably will do a stream like this at some point. Uh, I'm planning to do this on stream, but I have to try it to see if I will be able to do it in two hours. But I guess I will. So we'll see, we'll see. But this will be very nice. I'm uh, sure that it will be very cool. So stuff like this. I'm trying stuff from this file. Today I gathered some reference for male face. Uh, this type of things here. Amazing. Very cool. Henry Cavill. The best Superman. And uh, Witcher. Of course. No more. But yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Pure F. Zach Petruk sells that anime video for... $25 on her website. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I think it's worth it. It's fine. I mean, uh, it's not it's not gonna teach you everything about anatomy, but it will help a lot. Th these things help. I mean, buying anatomy for sculptures book. 
it will help a lot, but you have to also use it. Mm, yeah, buying it, it will not help that much. Using it will help a little bit more. I may be interested in mentorship if I can get better faster. Uh, I don't know if you will get better faster. For example, um, Guerra, Guerra uh, has become better without the mentorships. So maybe you can without the mentorships. Yes. So take him as an inspiration because for 15 months he became good as good as me, we may say, or even better in some direction. So 15 months, probably working mm, almost every day for at least four, six hours a day. Maybe he will say, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I guess I'll have to make something like an interview with him because it will be very inspirational for many people. If we can add him to this here, how I, I probably we have to do something in Zoom and then I will have to uh, put Zoom into my other moment yeah probably we will be able to arrange that we'll have to see if he agrees to uh, talk with him to ask him how many hours a day for this time to show his stuff from before and then after and it will be super inspirational for the people i'm sure yeah we will do it most likely if he agrees of course 50 months is insane yeah some people can do it did you ever do traditional uh, traditional sculpting? No, I haven't, but I plan to do it many when I retire. Uh, maybe when I retire, I will do traditional sculpting with clay. It will be good. Getting respect from Nico is mad insane. Hope one day and press him. <laughs> but you're uh, pretty good. I mean, your stuff is not bad. If you work a little bit more like a uh, few more months, let's say an year, but kind of, you know, working hard. You probably will be in a very, very good level, industry level. Biggest issue for me, woman's reference do makeup. You can not see properly faces. Uh huh. Really? Okay. I think uh, it's, it's cool when you find the right reference. And also what I use as reference is other 3D artists. Because you see, I see this, for example, uh, this, this. And I said, this is looking amazing. Why can't I use it as a reference? And I can, I can. Although the skull itself, since probably this is from a scan, the skull itself, most likely, you know, this is the problem with the scans of females because they have hair and they put the hair uh, and they grab it with some kind of a net. Yeah, it's cool. When they scan it, the skull shape is lost. It's like more blurry. And this is what you have here because the skull is not in that shape even for a female the shape of the skull is this so it's a little bit more angular it's not super smooth and round like this so this is the only thing i have against this but the only thing other than that it's very cool it's a very nice reference also this is a very cool reference because you can see all the things it's a little bit stylized uh, so the guy has chewed it for you and then you can just eat it without chewing. That's what I call this kind of things when I look at other people's art and I get something from them, you know. For example, this is a drawing, also a good reference. Also, this is amazing reference. Uh, I mean, those references will be probably in my next course uh, for, for the head modeling. This is very nice. I have a lot of, uh, you know, Azaro's head, uh, Anatomy for Sculptures, um, some other skulls and uh, a lot of things, uh, you know, those are beginner mistakes here. Many things inside this file. This is the gold file, by the way. I have to sell this file for like five five dollars. But they will sue me because <laughs> most of the images there I don't own. Uh, all of them I don't own. So I will not sell it, most likely. You've mentioned you worked in the game industry, worked on any project we might recognize. Uh, probably not. Some games from Gameloft, because I worked for Gameloft. Only that. Around 10 hours a day, you have to work like a horse. So it's no wonder for 15 months you become that good. 10 hours a day for 15 months, 
those are a lot of hours let's say more than five probably around five no not five four thousand hours so 4k hours will be enough to learn a skill that's good but many people cannot achieve 4k hours in less than three years for example so it's normal huh. hi where are you from i'm from bulgaria bulgaria where is bulgaria It's between turkey greece romania serbia and black sea it's very close to ukraine <clears throat> so that's it is showing only still images of skills enough when applying for a job or do you need to show renders turn around <clears throat> the more you show and uh, the more skill you show the better so render turnaround is always best Really love your ZBrush courses, Nico. Is there a particular reason you use similar extent of other 3D software for objects? <coughs> because it's faster. Zimodler is super fast. Sometimes for some things, it's faster than making it in 3D Max or Blender. It's very fast if you learn it. Learning 3D modeling for game dev and it's using your mail work course. Good. Good. I can the basic forms down low head for example always look crap yeah because you haven't practiced enough you have to practice a lot after your 100th head from reference and if you try each head to be better you definitely will improve i'm not saying you will be uh, scan level because even i am not scan level head doing but i'm improving so Yes, I saw it in your tutor, you was using it, but for example, you want to do some kind actor, actress, fool. I mean, it's hard to find protos due to pose. Um, if you want to do an actress or actor, I will suggest to um, put the film with the actress or actor. Find the scenes where the lighting is good, when you can see um, a lot of uh, kind of the, the face features and make screenshots and put them in uh, pure ref. You now mixing 10 females and they can have 20 different fats on the face. Uh, yeah, but the, the places of the fat are usually the same. You just have to know where they are. Text Nico, nice to hear. The only reason I ask about the mentorship is because sometimes I work and there's an issue and I don't understand what needs to be fixed sometimes. Uh, that's always a problem when you are not as experienced. When you get more experience, you will see the things better. That's definitely. <coughs> What I suggest is Nico and Gorsetti for people to learn and focus on anatomy and forms and silhouette. Yeah, of course, but Giera, I'm not sure that's that's how you pronounce your name. We have to do a kind of question question and answer session with you just for the people to, to understand uh, that it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time, even if only for 15 months. But for these 15 months, you put... Uh, the amount of uh, work that most people will not put for like four years. So you do it. Ciao Nico from Italy. Turned in too late uh, in the stream. Thank for all you do for us. Yeah, thank you guys. And we have to stop the stream because it's already like uh, two hours and something. And I did this character for one and a half hour. <clears throat> Hopefully the Venom. Uh, I will do it... Uh, it's it's pretty complex by the way but uh, hopefully we'll be, be able to do it in some of the next streams but for the next stream which will be the day after tomorrow hopefully we will do something uh, of a surprise <clears throat> something from a different stream of a guy who is who will gonna stream it tomorrow uh in his channel i don't know where he will give me a link <laughs> and Nico, thanks for the compliment. I'm really happy with it. And yet, we can do live call on one day for sure. Just hit me up any day. Okay. I will, uh, <clears throat> you know, take you for that. <clears throat> you will do it. We will do it. So, bye for now and see you in the next stream. My voice is starting to go <coughs> bad. So, we 